Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can install and run Stable Diffusion with a web UI. And uh, I've gone ahead and published a document to make it easier for you to follow along because if you're not a developer, it can get a little bit confusing. So first off, in order to run Stable Diffusion in general, you need a few things. You need Python, Git, and the latest Stable Diffusion checkpoint file just to get it running. But we're going to also uh, make sure that we can run a web UI, which just offers an extra step. And this web UI also allows us to directly access GEFP GAN, so I'll also show you how to install that. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is we need to download and install Python. So you want to go ahead and click this button to go to the Python web page. Scroll all the way down, and you want to download the Windows 64-bit installer. Now, once it's installed, you're going to go to the folder and you're going to right click on it and run as administrator. Go ahead and say yes. And you want to go ahead and add the Python path to your exe and install. Now you can just go ahead and hit close. And from there, we can install Git. So let's go back to our document. And we're going to go to the next section here, which is downloading and installing Git. So we're going to follow the link to Git here. And we want to click on this link, which is the latest version of Git. Git is already downloaded. And what we're going to do is run that. Now, it's important to run this as administrator. So right click, run as administrator. And we want to click Yes. Now, the install of Git is pretty straightforward. We're just going to hit next through everything. Um, I did have this installed before, which is why uh, it's saying that, but you just want to go ahead and hit next, 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 next. And it's going to go ahead and start installing. And that's about it. So we're going to go ahead and uncheck the release notes and hit finish. Now that we have that out of the way, we can move on to the next section, which is getting the latest checkpoint file for stable diffusion. So you can just click on this link to go to the hugging face profile, which is where the like original weights live. And you want to download SD-V1-4 CKPT. So go ahead and click on that to download it. And that'll show up here in our downloads folder. Let's go ahead and also download our next item, which is GFPGAN. So you want to click on this. And in the GitHub here, you want to scroll down to the README MD and look for the add 1.4 model. And go ahead and click that, and it'll start a download for that model. Now, these models are a little bit bigger, so it's going to take some time to download them. And then once they're downloaded, we can actually start to set up Stable Diffusion. So to set up Stable Diffusion, we actually need to get the web UI. So you can click this link. It's going to take you to another GitHub page. But instead of scrolling down like we did before, you're going to go to the big green code button. And you're going to click Download Zip. And what this is going to do is it's going to take all of this project and zip it up and put it on your drive. So we just need to wait for those to be done. And then once all of that is done, we can actually start setting up Stable Diffusion. Now we're ready to go ahead and set up Stable Diffusion. So if you scroll down here, there are steps to do that. The first thing we need to do is extract Stable Diffusion Web UI zip to the C drive. So we're going to go ahead, right click on this guy, and hit um, Extract All. And we're going to navigate to our C drive. Really, this can be any drive. I chose the C drive because it's the easiest location to do instructions. But if you want to move this to another drive, you can. Go ahead and hit Select Folder and hit Extract. Now you can see Stable Diffusion Web UI Master is in our C drive. I'm going to go ahead and keep this here to the side because the next thing we need to do is we need to um, copy the GFPGAN PTH file, and we need to go ahead and put that in the kind of main hierarchy here. So we're just going to grab this file, drag and drop it in here. And then we're going to grab the um, sdv14 ckpt file, which is the latest checkpoint file for stable diffusion. And we're going to go ahead and throw that into the models folder. So we're going to select models, models, not marbles, go to stable diffusion, and you're going to go ahead and put that in here. 
And now what you need to do is you need to rename this file, otherwise things aren't going to work. So you need to rename this to model, M-O-D-E-L. Go ahead and hit enter. And now we are ready to finally set up all the rest of our dependencies for the web UI. If you go to your C drive under the stable diffusion web UI master, if you scroll down here, there's a web UI user bag. Now it's really important. Do not run this on admin mode. It won't work. Just run it in general the way you normally do. So let's go ahead and hit web UI master. And uh, you're going to get this warning. Click more info, run anyway. Now this process that's about to happen will take a little bit of time, so don't be alarmed. This can take anywhere from 5 minutes to 15 minutes. So now that this is done, I have my checkpoint file and I can launch Stable Diffusion. So you can just copy this link and go to a web address and just paste it in the address bar like this. And you'll see that Stable Diffusion loads. And you can test out how this works just by making anything. Let's just say a cat with glasses. And let's generate. As you can see here, it's going to start processing the image. And there you go, you have the cat. Now, this command line window is very important to have open while you have this user interface window open. If this window gets closed, then all of this web UI stops working. So just minimize it early on so you don't have to worry about it and you're good to go. So there are a lot of really cool features inside of Stable Diffusion that I can't wait to show you. But until then, I hope this helps you kind of get started with using the application.